you, you've done a, a enviable. Uh, you, you're the kind of actor I, I would want to be because, um, as a young as a young man acting, I always because of my voice did character parts, and I, I wore more beards and crepe hair and gray whitener and, uh, than you could shake a stick at. But one of the best things you you've done was the. Uh, is it, how do you say it? Do you say QB7? Or yeah, QB7, yes. Um, well, a couple of times. You've played an, an older man so convincingly mm. that... Uh, were, were you ever recognized from the part of the Nazi, uh, the reform Nazi? And, and No, it took me a long time to try and get young parts. Really? Yeah, because I... I, uh, I don't know. It was, I, when I started off in uh, drama, uh, in acting school, I was given all these old parts to play, and, which was wonderful. But I thought, I'm never going to play my own age. And what is happening now? The lines are crossing, and I'm playing younger parts. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know. I, I, I had doubts about QB7 when I read the, the script, because I thought, well, they you know, made it one rather one-dimensional character. But I know they, they put a beard on me one day, and I'd learned the accent and all that, and uh, I'd, I'd learned the lines. And uh, I, I really believe that a lot of it, acting is just a kind of, you just learn the lines. No, I mean, I, I never used to believe that. Woody Allen says that acting is shouting. Shouting, yeah. He did a play on Broadway, and he said, you shout. You just learn to shout. That's what yes. acting... <laughs> well, I guess that... Yes, yeah, it's just a simplification. Not entirely serious, of course. <laughs> uh, but but uh, I learned the situation and all that, and the lines, mm -hmm. and I got up there, and uh, it all sort of happened. So I, I didn't question it, and... Uh, How, what two or three or five things did you do to come near an American accent? In the, in the movie, they say, I believe that your father came... or you came over from England as a young man or something, and you, you do this extraordinary accent in which you're mostly American. Yeah. What do you change about your own speech to be American? Well, I, Are there two I, or three I, I, vowel sounds or consonants? Yeah, I had to work on those and uh, instead of saying after or after, or what, you know, mm -hmm. I don't want to go into it now in case I, I make a mistake. But no, I had a, a terrific fellow, a, a very close friend of mine, an actor called Patrick Watkins, who worked with me all the way through the film and uh, was wonderful because he was so supportive and he, he didn't make demands in that sense of saying, you're wrong, you're wrong. He said, you're right, just do it and relax, you know. Mm -hmm. And Attenborough was uh, very supportive of me. So I, I just went along with it and hoped for the best, but I was very nervous of it, first of all. And what Patrick advised me to do was to, to lighten the tone to get rid of this Welsh. Mm -hmm. I don't know, just to get rid of this or to, to modify it. And uh, he would check that sometimes if it would become rather mellifluous or Celtic, Mm -hmm. I, I would check that, you know, and uh, so I went for a more, a higher tone. Can you say the sentence you just said now as an American? Oh, don't ask me that. <laughs> no, not <laughs> really putting no, you on. Yeah, no, no. And we no, can no, all no. vote on whether or not. <laughs> no, not, no, that's not fair. You deserve the part or not. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're going to do a sequel. I'll get well, over I'll, this. I'll to do a sequel. No, I'm, I'm going to get over it. I can, I know that I am. <laughs> Uh, you, you, you're another actor whose <laughs> reputation for authentic German dialect. I was talking to James Mason about that today. The Germans say his German is, is authentic, and, and yours is... Do you know what region... Do you have a particular German dialect? Uh, for regional? Hauptmann or for... For Hauptmann. Yeah, no, I actually listened to Hauptmann himself. I, there, there's a documentary film of the trial, and I, uh -huh. I got a lot of his tone, and uh, I tried to, you know, I watched very closely, and I don't know what part of Germany he came from. I think it's southern Germany. I'm mm -hmm. not sure. But I tried to get a kind of, uh, you know, rather throaty sound. And James Mason is a wonderful accent, isn't he? Yes. I didn't realize, uh, I was in Germany recently, how many dialects there are very close to each other. Uh -huh. I went from Aachen, from uh, uh, Cologne over to Aachen, yeah. where I have some long-lost relatives. And they pronounce their final Gs as J, and Krieg, the word for war, is Krieg, Krieg. over there. Ah, yeah. But 20 miles to the left, yeah. it's Krieg again, and then becomes Krieg somewhere else. It's very... Brando did a marvelous German accent in Young Lions. A beautiful accent, wasn't it? Yes, I heard Lee Strasberg make a comment about that. He said he was so dazzled by it, and he said, but there was something wrong with it. And he said, I realized that what was wrong with Brando's accent was that it was perfect. <laughs> and that no one, Strasburg even in a, from, the <laughs> from the region, no one has a perfect accent. There are always some yeah. variety in it. It's so marvelous accent. It's right? nice to be wrong and perfect yeah. at the same time, I suppose. <laughs> uh, how, you're transplanted to Hollywood. Is it the yeah. city of your dreams, your nightmares, uh, <laughs> both? No, I, I always wanted to live in America. And, uh, you know, they say, be careful what you pray for or dream about. And uh, it, it all happened. I came to New York four years ago. I'd been to California once before. The, I know somebody asked me yesterday, why are you living in California? Well, there's work there for me. In mm -hmm. fact, I mean, it would be nice. I'd love to live in New York as well. But uh, there is work for me in California. And uh, the only thing I, I sort of miss at the moment is the theater. But there is theater in California. I'm going to do Hamlet next year 
in the South Coast uh, Repsol Shakespeare's uh, yes. Hamlet. Yes. And I'm going to direct it and all that. So there are opportunities out there. But I, I, I love the climate. It's sort of changed my life. Not the climate, but uh, the way of life out there. I, I uh, feel very much more at peace than I've ever felt, you know. I do. It's not just the place, but that's what it all worked out for me, you know. And your brain hasn't turned to cheese the way it's supposed to oh, if you no. live Well, there, you're talking but... to a happy idiot then. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not quite. I hope not. Are you aware of a film called Dead of Night in which there was a, a thing Robert, uh, Michael Redgrave did, in yeah, which I, he played I, a I ventriloquist didn't, didn't it, and there was a, a, a similar yeah. uh, theme, not the same, of course, as in I never saw it. I've magic, heard about but it's, it. But it's quite frightening. That's a wonderful idea. And I, yeah. I, I'm glad that it's expanded in, in, the, yeah. in the film Magic. It's a wonderful idea. Uh, I don't think we've told them too much about it to spoil, no, no. spoil anything. We we'll won't give it away. Have we? No. Um, when will your Hamlet be, in fact? Uh, June, of, uh, June and July of uh, next year, 79. You don't have anxiety dreams in which you... Uh... <coughs> no, I've been working on it for three years. Really? Mm. I, 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 I never wanted to do it. I thought it was a long, boring, dreary play. And uh, one day it came to me. I said, do it, direct it. And, mm -hmm. and uh, so Get I thought, well, I'll do it. Oh, there, you know, there are other places, too. There are nice theaters out there. There's a new theater being built in Costa Mesa in Southern California, in Orange County. It's a beautiful theater. Uh, and uh, two young men are, have built this. You know, Their dream has come true. So they offered me their theater, and I'm going to do it. I'd and love all, to see you in it. Well, to. we're hoping to bring it to this part of, the, part of America. You know. You know, of course, they asked me to do it before they asked you, but... With, with, we, we, why do we, you know, we I'm afraid we're completely out of time, and we're going to admit something astounding to the audience now in the seconds remaining. This is not me talking at all. <laughs> it's done the whole thing. Incredible. You'll get an Emmy for this. Anthony Hopkins, thank you for being thank here. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow night. Good night.